So what is data science, data analytics? As you can see, it's a lot of, uh, for my background, biostatistics, biomimetics, there's some programming involved, some statistical knowledge involved, okay? But remember, we are here, particularly all this talk about data science, data analytics is for one key purpose, solve business problems, okay? We are here to solve business problems. I'll give you a story. When most of us, when we are younger, we want to, for example, transfer $50 to our friend. What do we do? We queue up in the, maybe we queue up in the PSB. We'll queue up for a long, long time here at the counter, then transfer from my, my bank account to another account. What happened later? ATM came along, correct or not? ATM came along. No one queues up with the bank anymore. They just go to the ATM, probably wait uh, 10 minutes then to transfer the money to your friend. Today, I ask you, how many of you go to the ATM? Nobody. Take out your handphone, ta, 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 transfer, correct or not? See how technology has made things faster, cheaper, more convenient, more useful. Am I right, guys? Okay, now for an AI version of this. When you go to Malaysia, maybe 20 years ago, you queue up in the queue right now. One hour just to chop the thing and go through, right, guys? Now, who does that? You, you go to the, the counter, right? The, the, you, you put your, your passport in the passport reader. It's actually an AI called OCR, Optical Character Recognition. It's specialized model to recognize numbers and words. So they'll scan your thing, pick up the numbers and words, and then any kind of data. You can deploy all these techniques to analyze patterns in your data. I'll give you an example. For example, I own a flower shop and I look at the patterns in my data. I notice every Valentine's Day there's a spike. Why? Because people buy Valentine's Day flowers for their Valentine, right, guys? Okay? So I notice patterns in the data. Or maybe every Christmas also notice there's a spike in the sales. If you know this data, new, if you know this insight or this trend from the data, what will you do? You obviously make sure before the Valentine's you stock up industry, correct or not? No one can take leave, correct or not? Everyone is a high season, right, guys? You make sure everything is supplied properly. There's a huge amount of uh, supply of flowers and so forth, okay? So this is the value. You are well prepared. You are also can see trends in the patterns in the data. You can prepare beforehand. Another example from industry, manufacturing perspective, there's actually algorithms they can look at, the, 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 for example, the heat, the pressure on the machine as it operates and predict it 10 minutes before it breaks down, whether it will break down or not. If you know that the machine is going to break down, what business decision will you make? Call the engineer right now. You call the network guy to come down and solve the problem, maybe release the pressure, cool the thing before the machine breaks down. That is the business value, guys. Okay? Why? If the machine breaks down, maybe down the pipeline also we cannot process. Okay, for manufacturing, it's always like a, like a conveyor belt kind of thing. So that is the value. If the machine breaks down, it could cause a lot of problem in the entire supply chain. That is the business value. It's not just making money, saving money, but preventing bad things, I think like risk management. There are many, many areas you can apply all these analytic techniques and data techniques. Okay, guys, all right? So feel free later to ask me questions, guys. I got a lot of stories and case studies for y'all. Okay, so I just answered this question. Why do you need it? Business value. We are here to solve business problems. Okay, I'll give you another case study. My brother works in the oil and oil field industry. Every probably three years, they will shut down the entire oil rig. You know, in, in overseas, there's the oil platform. Uh, they drill for oil, right? They'll shut down every three years to service the, the, all the machines and the pump and everything. Now with AI machine learning, they can predict when the thing is faulty, when the thing is worn down. So they only service it when it's needed. Probably once in five years or maybe once in four years they the service once. Okay, why? Because every time they shut down the plant, probably $2 million is gone. So that is the situation about it. So all these techniques is meant to solve business problems, reduce manpower, time, and cost, like the case studies I mentioned just now. Okay, all right. So this is the value of data ethics, data science in, in, in these examples are given. Okay, you can see from the screen, any industry collects data, whether in the past, 1998, when internet came out, there's a lot of data coming out. Amazon came about, Google came about. They're all collecting data. Okay, now, of course, data on Facebook came out, Alibaba, all these big companies came about. These guys are collecting lots and lots of data. Everywhere, every company that goes on the internet collects lots of data. Shopping, Grab, all these collect data. Okay, now with the data that you collect, what, what is the value, like I mentioned, solve business problem? You can see patterns in your data, customer purchasing pattern, market pattern technical patterns in the data. That's what we want. In the data, guys, there are lots and lots of patterns. This is the keyword, patterns. 
And from the patterns, you can get insights, you can make predictions to prevent things from happening before they happen. That is the thing I'm trying to say to you. This is why data is so important. Regardless of which industry you're from, there are lots of insights, lots of patterns hidden in the data. You heard of this word data mining, right? It's the algorithm's job to extract out the patterns, extract out the insights and store it in a mathematical model. All good, guys? Okay, so that is the value of data. With lots of data, you get lots of patterns. Heard of big data before, right, guys? Uh, big data, because there are lots of patterns in their data. They use deep learning, neural networks to extract out all the patterns and store in a model. Why? Like I give you an example. Predict the thing breakdown before it happens. Okay, if I give you an example, I went for a talk for AWS Health before. They gave this example in that uh, particular talk. So, for example, if I take your blood from pharmaceutical industries, I'll give you an example. Huh? If I, from the blood, you can see things like your fat level, your heartbeat, your cholesterol level, all the different uh, chemicals in your blood. They are able to predict whether you have a high risk of heart attack. Okay, or even, you know, for those people who go for kidney dialysis, where they go to, the blood goes through the machine to clean the blood, right? So I went for this talk by AI Singapore, where they will capture all the chemical in the blood, the temperature, the flow rate in the blood, all in a data set. They use this data set to predict the risk of the person getting a kidney failure. Now, ask yourself from a health perspective, if you know that within the next two weeks, you are high risk of a kidney failure or kidney attack, what would you do? Number one, change your diet. Probably exercise more. Some of you might even admit yourself to hospital such that in the event such a thing happen, you are in the presence of doctors and nurses because you know this is going to happen before it happens. Okay? So you take steps either to prevent the event from happening or if it happens, the consequences are minimal. Because many times, guys, in heart attack or even kidney, so-called kidney attack, a lot of them may die along the way in hospital, I mean, along the ambulance, or by the time they reach the doctors, the damage is very bad. Is that clear, guys, so far? Okay, this is the healthcare value. Same thing for machines and other areas. So with data, you can extract, you see the second picture, insights, information, graphs and chart patterns in the data. Now, the last circle says decisions. You know this is going to happen. What decision, business decision? The CEO will look at all these trends and patterns and make a business decision based on the insights of the data. That is the value of all these data science techniques. Okay, guys, they move on. All right. So why, how do we use it? You can see on the screen, when internet first came out, I remember Amazon, customers who bought this also bought that. If you like to watch, let's say, Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, Stallone movies, they know from the patterns that you purchase right now. The, uh, you may click. There's, there's this thing called click stream data where what you click, they will also capture. Whether you buy it or it's a different story. Then they'll recommend Steven Seagal. Chuck Norris, all this because they know from the patterns you like this kind of genre movies. Everything you click has this thing called tax. From the call, they collect the tax and know your purchasing pattern, your preferences. Then they'll recommend things to you. This is called uh, cross selling. Okay, guys. So these are the th the advantage of all this data. They recommend products to you. They recommend uh, uh, probably uh, other services to you. Another successful story is Grab. When Grab first came out, it was only System structure, they get lots of data. Now we have Grab Food, Grab Delivery, and it's actually branching out to other countries as well. Correct, guys? So you see the success of data. Now, Grab is not by fluke. Grab is very cooperative and very, very clever in their data handling because with lots of data, they have lots of less of scientists to capture the patterns of data, understand the customer's needs and preferences, and then came up with Grab Food data, Grab Delivery, and so forth. So there are a lot of cases like Carousel is another example. Okay, now who uses eBay? Not many people, but Carousel is taking over in a way because they leverage AI. They leverage data. They leverage all the information to serve their customers better, give better products and services, things with people like, even before they ask, it appears on the screen. You know what I mean, guys? Ah, that's the advantage, recommendation. Okay? So these are something. Netflix, Google, Facebook. You are searching for yellow Mercedes in Google search engine. Go to Facebook and advertisement pop up, yellow Mercedes. How they know? It's because of in your browser, there's this thing called cookies, where they, the, the website will read the cookies, know if it's searching for this, they automatically put the correct advertisement in front of you. All this is recommendation engine, guys, okay? All right, so they know from the data captured through the cookies, what are the kind of person, you like technology product, you like perfume, you like shoes, they put the correct advertisement in front of you. Okay, guys? So these are the advantage of data for business purposes. Next slide, please. All right. So, uh, like I mentioned, for healthcare industry, there are many, many areas. Do not live in your mind, guys. It can be applied to any industry, wherever they're from. For I'll give you some stories of healthcare. In the past, 
1980s for x-ray, for people, uh, we take an x-ray, right, for lung cancer or lung disease, whatever x-ray or even brain scan, they'll send the picture to a, this specialist called radiographer. The radiographer is a quite expensive guy. Okay, he will look at the picture, the x-ray, then he'll he say, oh, this person maybe got some TB, got some cancer, so forth. Okay. In the 1990s, I think, because of the, the, the time it took and the cost, they outsourced it to India. Okay, they outsourced it to India. It was faster and they got the results in a, a, for a cheaper rate. Now, today, no one does that. You have an AI, cam, AI system to analyze the picture. You can actually Google online. There's a competition between doctors and AI to look at the, the X-ray pictures or the CAT scan. AI beat the doctors. Did you know that? AI was able to predict this guy has certain disease much more accurate than doctors. You can Google it if you want to. Okay, another example. COVID came out. After COVID came out, when, how long did it take for the first vaccine? One year, right, guys? Do you know that before the COVID vaccine, what was the fastest vaccine? Seven years. Seven years. It took seven years for back the, the fastest ever vaccine to come out. Typically, it's eight to nine years. Okay? Now, AI played a huge role in this. Okay, what, what it did was from pharmaceuticals, I'll tell you my story, yeah? tell you some stories. There are four phases in or four or five phases in pharmaceutical. First is the selection of the chemical. Second is the tissue trial. Then later they move on to animal trial. The last one is human phase. The first phase takes about five, six years to, to look at all the different chemical combinations and choose something that actually can cure the disease. Okay, guys? That was the very wrong stage. Now, AI played a very huge role, especially in the first stage. It sped up the selection process for probably five or six years to probably five or six months, maybe. That is what, that is the advantage AI helped. Is that clear? Okay, guys? So it really sped up, it automated the process, the decision-making was by AI. They reduced the thousands of chemicals with just a few candidate molecules. Then from there, they went to the other phases quite quickly. Okay? It really played a very huge role and a very good part for the vaccine to come out. All right? So there's a lot of applications in AI. I'll tell you some healthcare stories for which I had. I can narrate to you. At manufacturing, uh, logistics, agriculture, there are lots of applications for AI. Okay, guys? Next slide, please. All right. As you can see, how would it impact? Huh? I'll give you some stories, right, of what AI can impact. AI, is, as you can see from the slide, machine learning, deep learning, has a lot of applications. Chatbot, biggest news, chat GPT, taking over this, taking over that. There's actually... Uh, news articles, people losing jobs because of that GPT. It is true, AI does have a potential to automate and take over certain things, but it's definitely accelerating a lot of new business ideas, this uh, industry uh, makes things faster, cheaper, more effective. Okay? So there are a lot, AI is definitely a revolutionary thing that's coming out. Now, there's a saying coming out, your job will not be replaced by AI. Your job will be replaced by the guy who knows how to work with AI, AI tools. There's a saying, Okay, so it's a saying where you either get in the trend or don't. Okay, so th there's definitely a trend of AI tools. Mid journey, there's a lot. ChatGPT is just the beginning. There's a lot of AI tools out there. Okay, they can work with Excel, work with PowerPoint, can generate a presentation in five seconds. That kind of, there are a lot of uh, tools online that can do that. So it's definitely a trend. Okay, so it, it's definitely a trend that's coming up and definitely something we cannot ignore because the world is moving forward in that direction. And Singapore is taking it seriously. So as you can see, digital economy. Okay, Singapore government is smart nation, right? Uh, AI master plan, all this uh, IMDA, all this uh, innovative program to take advantage of the trend, to really promote digital technologies, digital uh, into businesses, even at the hawker level. You now you go to the hawker center, some of them even have QR code. Pay now, correct? Hawker center, you know, even the one my house also, yeah, my house also has, they pay by pay now. Okay, these are simple levels of digital technologies. They want to infuse it in everywhere and as much as possible. Now, if you go to a bus ride, like for example, I'm going for a KL next week. Do I have a physical ticket? No, I have a QR code. Just scan, go through. They authenticate who you are. Right you now, very simple. Very faster, more convenient. Right, guys? Okay? These are the advantages of all these digital technology, technologies. Government is pushing it out. Smart nation. A lot of incentive to businesses. A lot of incentive to school. Skill future and other courses. I even uh, I mean, this has many courses to promote digital technologies, the data science subjects. Okay, so there's a lot of potential. It's definitely something not to go away. Government is taking it seriously, industry is taking it seriously, and businesses are taking it seriously. There's no industry that will not be touched by all this. Okay, as you can see, for the, and as, as a result, there will be a lot of demand for people who can handle the data, know what to do with it, know what this graph means, what does that mean. There's the need of people to read the data and to apply it. Okay, so the, what the last thing is, 
what are the prospects? There are huge amount of prospects, guys. It's not just data science, data analytics. It could be a technology officer, it could be cybersecurity. It is something, anything involving data. What is the big trend coming out, guys? Metaverse, right, guys? Metaverse is a big trend that's coming out in the future. Okay, there's another huge source of data. Besides handphone, besides internet, besides IoT sensor, Metaverse is coming out. Once that comes out, it's a huge, ju- uh, huge jump in the data that's being produced. Another two technologies I can foresee coming out going to change a lot of things. 5G and quantum computing. With these two technologies, data will flow much faster and we can process the data very, very fast. That is the huge advantage now. Yeah, so data is not alone, guys. AI is not alone. There are a lot of other technologies supporting the AI and data revolution. Take note of that. Blockchain is another one. Okay, guys, next week, next time. Okay, so take note, there's a lot of career opportunities in the world of data. As you can see, technology officer, strategy officer, business intelligence, so and so forth. Lots of avenues, lots of area. Data is not alone. There's obviously the marketing element. Remember, there's a presentation element I said in the beginning, soft skills. Okay, so the whole world of data is definitely creating a huge shakeup, a huge industry. Chat GPT is just the beginning. There are lots of areas you can apply all these techniques and technologies. All right, as you can see on the screen, Meta is hiring. Everyone is hiring, looking for people, number one, who can read the data, who can understand the data and apply it to solve business problems. Remember, that's the keyword. Solve business problems. Understand the patterns and trends. Solve business problems. Think of new business ideas. Uh, innovate it is and, and so forth. Okay, uh, next slide. All right, thank you all guys. For-